that chord to doing a four chord and then a minor four. Dun. I'm gonna get my guitar, I got a little excited, and I'm gonna play it for y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Ray Andre. I'm a music producer from Florida, Florida, man. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to Life Goes On by BTS from their new album, B. If you guys want me to react to their full album and do a full album review, make sure you let me know down in the comments and if enough people ask, I will do it. And real quick before we start, I wanna let you know about today's sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is a service that lets you upload your music to Apple Music, Spotify, and many, many other listening platforms. I actually use this service myself. If you guys have seen my music, some of you guys have listened to it and this service DistroKid is so easy I mean it's so easy you can literally upload your music place the details upload the artwork and then they do all the other work and you can just let go and as an artist it's an amazing thing if you have some songs out there that you want to record DistroKid is really the place to go for that because you literally just submit it to them and they can place your music on TikTok Instagram music so many different services click the first link down below in the description and it'll take you to DistroKid where you have a 7% off discount where you'll be able to upload upload your music and they will place it on Spotify, Apple Music and so many other services. And it's so inexpensive. I mean, there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this. Make sure you click the link down below and let me know. I want to listen to your music too. So if you have any songs, shoot me a message and I will be sure to listen. I know I pause all the time, but I really enjoy acoustic guitars. I mean, if you listen to that, the acoustic guitars, they sound very compressed. It makes it so that even though it's a pop song, if you have acoustic guitars, it kind of blends because you don't really hear that many acoustic guitars in today's music, at least not prominent parts. You know, that little da -na -na -na, that's a vocal sample that you typically record and then you kind of manipulate on the computer to make it sound however you want. So far, you know, that that's a little guitar. It sounds like a cajon or a guitar just being slammed to and then a vocal sample. So acoustic guitar, a little acoustic drum or a cajon, maybe an acoustic guitar being played as percussion and then the vocal sample. That's all I've heard so far. It sounds more like a ping pong. Like a ping pong sort of thing. That's Jung Gook, Jung, Young Cook, Young Cook, right? That's Young Cook. I feel like I mispronounced everyone's name. Young Cook, am I right in that? Let me know. It's Jimin, so I know his voice. Besides the fact that he's appearing on camera, I know that he has a very high voice. So when I hear that, I'm like, oh, it's him, it's Jimin. By the way, I hear the drums that came in. It sounds like an old drum machine. It's very retro. So far, this song sounds like a retro sound. Like it's a laid back groove, more of a retro sound. I'm digging it. There's like some more acoustic guitars that are doing this little embellishment. And then there's electric guitars, I think, going on in there. Let me hear again. Yeah, it sounds like an acoustic guitar being played, just doing some embellishments. And then maybe an electric guitar too, doing some other embellishments here and there. I really dig it so far. It's really nice. I like when RM came in and it sounded like a deep, you know, version of his voice and he's like rapping, uh, 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 it has a lot of depth to it. So it kind of blended in nicely with that. This is the chorus. By the way, that chord, I can tell that chord is doing a four chord and then a minor four. Dun. I'm gonna try to play the chord progression now. I'm gonna listen to it again as it goes and I'm gonna play the chord progression for the chorus here. So there we go. It's a pretty simple chord progression. I'm going to get my guitar. I got a little excited and I'm going to play it for y'all. So it's a very simple chord progression, but it's very nice. I think that chord is used in very melancholic songs, like songs that kind of just make you like a little bit melancholic. So it's a one chord, meaning the root of the chord, and then it goes to a four chord, and then that's it. But there's a caveat. There's one chord, and then it goes to the seven chord, the same chord, but it goes to the seven, like this. My guitar needs a little tuning, so forgive me for that, but... So it goes a little bit like this.
So those are chords, like I said, very melancholic, very just make you feel something. It looks like it's in G sharp major. Then G sharp seven. Then the four chord, which is in uh, C sharp. And then a C sharp minor. So yeah, those chords just kind of make you feel melancholic a little bit. Um, there's just, it's emotional, it's an emotional chord progression. So I just thought I would let you guys know what's going on there with the chord progression in the chorus. All right, let's keep moving. See that? There's little embellishments there, it sounds like with, a, with an electric guitar. I really dig his voice, his voice I really dig. This song has surprised me, you know, because Dynamite was this big, big song, like at least very like upbeat and it was a lot of energy. This one is laid back, very laid back, you know, very smooth and soothing. So I dig that contrast between the two songs they put out from this album yet. It's very interesting that they put, you know, the first single was this and then the next single was this. So it's like they're opposites almost. I really enjoy it. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna play that back again just because it's very interesting when it comes to production. Listen to how there's effects to his vocal. There's like an effect to it. And then when he ends the phrase, it's gonna go, ooh, it's gonna open up. That means that they made the effects go louder and louder as he let go of the word. So as soon as he was done, they kind of rode that effect up so that it was louder and louder. And it just sounds huge and humongous. Duh. And it's like, wah, you can hear kind of like how big the effect is. And plus, every time you sing it and you stop the phrase randomly and you let the effect go on in silence, it kind of exaggerates that effect. So just listen to that part. You heard that? It sounds huge. It sounds humongous. That's because they wrote that out. Bah, bah. They wrote that out and then you know it has that really big effect. So there, they have a different effect on the vocals and the chorus. It sounds more like a robotic or maybe like, yeah, robotic would be a good word. The way they did that, it's probably they filtered off so they let only certain frequencies go off in the, it sounds more like a radio. Maybe radio would be a better word than robotic, but it sounds like they just filtered the vocals to make it sound like it's, you know, more intimate because it sounds almost like someone's talking to you on the phone. And I'm sure with the lyrics of the song, Life Goes On, it does make sense. You can always count on him to do those runs. Sounds like there was a pad going on in the back too. Nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you let me know if you want me to do a full album review. I will do it. If enough people tell me in the comments, I will do it. And yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. It helps me out a ton. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Stay golden. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had to edit out a lot of parts of the song. If you guys are interested in seeing my videos without the other videos being cut out or muted, then make sure you let me know because I'm thinking of putting all my videos on somewhere where you guys can all see it that isn't YouTube. That way it doesn't hurt my channel, but you guys can still benefit from that. So make sure you let me know down in the comments and I would love to do that for you guys. So make sure you check out the link down below for DistroKid where you can upload your music. If you click the link down below, you get a 7% discount if you upload your music and it'll let you upload your music to Spotify, Apple Music, and many other platforms like TikTok Music and Instagram Music. And again, stay golden. I